Hello, everybody, and welcome to another MLP AU. Today we'll be looking at the Cookie Virus by Anxiety Monster. Okay, well, I saw this, and it was just very colorful. A lot of Rainbow Dash, and I believe this is based on a MLP episode. I don't think I ever made it that far in, but we're just gonna read it anyway. See what happens. I'm curious. Might make the episode when we finally get to it a lot better. <clears throat> so, the cookie virus stages. Journal entries by unknown. Beginning stage. Pony is somewhat sane, but very hungry. They crave the cookies. They were infected with more than anything and are desperate to do anything for more. Earliest sign is rainbow muzzle and permanent smile and frown. Going blind, question mark. Blown pupils and rainbow muzzle. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. I'm getting, uh, like, the joy vibes from the Amazing World of Gum. That episode was freaky. But it was also, like, one of my favorites at the same time. So, second stage. Pony sanity is declining. They can still speak but cannot stop thinking about their hunger. They are extremely desperate for cookies. So much so they start chasing down and eating anything living in case they have cookies in their stomach. Their mouths and stomach begin to rot. Hair and feathers begin to fall out. Stretching induces skin tearing stretching mouth losing feathers and hair okay so this is like a zombie thing i'm pretty sure well they're still technically alive though i guess okay oh my gosh third stage sanity is gone they can no longer speak and only make desperate sounds of hunger and anger they begin eating ponies hoping for a sweet taste to satisfy their need. Their mouths are starting to stretch or droop, depending on if they mutated with a smile or frown. Huh. They are dangerously skinny. Different parts of their body begin to stretch and change. Depending on the pony, manes and tail hair have shed. Pony is unrecognizable besides cutie mark. So sunken eyes... Blind, incredibly, incredible sense of smell, skinny, hungry, mutations begin, different for every pony, in this case, stretching limbs. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so this is, these cookies are the goat, these are good cookies, run away. Okay, I'm gonna try to read this. I'm going to read what I can, and if I start slurring, that, that'll that just happen. Final stage. Pony is... Okay, hold on. I can't. <laughs> nope, we're, we gotta end it there. <clears throat> can't even any but has in... I'm guessing this is incredible. Hearing and sense of smell. Breathing is rapid. It is, I can't read some of that. It is very hungry and it attracted, I believe. Um, something, something of scent of blood. Yeah, something. And look. Something, something. Being, I believe. Being out. <clears throat> outside. Is. Guaranteed. Dead? Death. <clears throat> Being outside is guaranteed. 
Okay, well, hopefully that didn't scare you all off. Okay, well, let's see. What's part two? That was interesting. Oh, no, stop. No, go back. <clears throat> I don't want audio. Rainbow Dash's journal. Surviving the cookie virus. This is all my fault. I'm not the type to keep a journal, but Rarity says writing down your thoughts can help your nerves and keep your thoughts straight. Right now, me, Applejack, Rarity, and the Cutie Mark Crusaders are hiding out in the Sweet Apple Acres barn. We've barricaded all of the windows and doors, but we can't stay here forever. <laughs> We're all fine, just pretty shaken up. Applejack is looking, is looting the barn, finding anything we can eat or use as weapons. She refuses to look at me or even speak to me. <laughs> Rarity is panicking, that's obvious, but she's trying to calm her sister down. Poor Sweetie Belle isn't taking any of this well. She hasn't stopped crying since we got here. Apple Bloom is also trying to comfort Sweetie Belle and help AJ. But Scootaloo also isn't speaking to me. I don't really blame her. We're all that's left in Ponyville as far as I know. We gave every everyone those horrible cookies. All I can see when I close my eyes is Twilight's twisted grin and Fluttershy's drooping frown. I don't want to think about them. Okay. Oh gosh. So I, I this is just the last time they saw them, bro. We saw those uh like uh infection slides or whatever. This is not what Twilight looks like now. That's for sure. I'm telling you that much. Um. Yeah, that is quite the frown. She looked like she's a ghost. Pinkie Pie was the first pony who ate a cookie, but I haven't seen her anywhere. She wasn't at Sugar Cube Corner with the poor cake family. Those little cake twins. What have I done? Uh oh. This is good so far. I'm liking this story. Virus stages, frowning ponies. Journal entry by blank blank blank. Hooves. Is this by Derpy? Oh man. Beginning stage. Same as Smiling Pony. Pony still has some sanity, but is very hungry. All they talk about is how much they need the cookies. They were infected with earliest sign of infection. It's rainbow muzzle and permanent smile and frown. Unlike Smiling Pony, pupils are dilated and eyes begin to sink. Permanently drooping jaw. So they're off. Her whole face is like being like twisted pretty much. That is quite the rainbow. I wonder why the rainbow is only affecting like the outside versus like the inside too. But interesting regardless. Second stage. Pony sanity is declining. They can still speak, but all they seem to mumble is the word cookies. They are extremely desperate for cookies. So much so, they start chasing down anything living. At this stage, they often find and eat small animals. Though if confronted by a pony, they won't hesitate to attack. Their mouths and stomach begin to rot. Hair and feathers begin to fall out. Sunken eyes, possibly blind? Jaw induces skin tearing. No. You can see the beginning of the uh, rip mouth here so the eyes are a lot more sunken a little thinner but oh god third stage sanity is completely gone pony can no longer speak and can only make desperate sounds of hunger and anger they begin strictly targeting ponies hoping for a sweet taste to satisfy their need unlike twilight sparkle who i observed in the past Fluttershy seems to droop downward instead of growing taller. Do all frowny ponies mutate this way? I am unsure, but it's too dangerous for me to find out. 
mane and feathers have completely shed. Pony is left unrecognizable besides cutie mark. Eyes? She keeps staring at me. Drooping, stretching neck? Unhinged jaw? Teeth? Question mark? I think that's... Be I don't even see teeth in her. Does she just gobble them up in one go? Those eyes are sunken. It's always the neck. It's always the neck. <laughs> Final stage. Pony is beyond recognizable. Can't even call it a pony anymore. Blind, but has incredible hearing and sense of smell. Breathing is rapid and rigid. It is very hungry. It will lunge and attack at any noise or scent of blood. Stay indoors and lock the doors. Going outside is guaranteed death. I think she can see me. Can she see me? She sees me. Okay. Well, that's creepy. Rainbow Dash's journal. Surviving the cookie virus part two. Twenty-eight days later, all right, I love it, loving it. We camped out in the barn for only two nights. Before we were spotted, we heard an awful groaning sound and I took a peek outside. A mangled and grinning Granny Smith was slowly approaching the barn. Luckily, she was far away enough for us to have time to pack up a wagon of supplies and book it out the back door. AJ and I pulled the cart with every pony inside. But even with two of the fastest ponies in Ponyville running in sync, an awful thudding sound was echoing behind us. Granny was chasing us. Apple Bloom started crying. That's my granny. She's family. We have to help her. I took a look at AJ. And she had tears in her eyes. That ain't our family no more, Sugar Cube. We didn't know where we were headed. But it had to be away from Granny and away from Ponyville. But we were suddenly cut off by a creature jumping in front of us. It was hard to tell who it was in the moment. But from Applejack's guttural scream, I'm positive it was Big Macintosh. Or it used to be at least. Interesting. In an effort to get away from him, AJ and I took a violent swerve. Right tumbling down a steep hill. It was a really hard fall. Everyone fell out of the wagon, and the thing crashed us into a big apple tree. In the mess, a chunk of the wagon crushed my wing, and another fell on AJ's leg. My wing hurt like hell, and it was all twisted in ways it shouldn't be. But there was no time to shake it off. We had to go. I, I honestly, I'm just, I'm immersed in the story. And I think I'm going to just leave you all to interpret these images instead. Rarity levitated all the supplies she could, and AJ and I carried the Cutie Mark Crusaders on our backs. AJ was limping harshly with every step, but she was in such a blind panic, I'm not sure she even realized she was hurt. AJ, AJ led the way and showed us to a little wooden shed in the middle of the orchard. AJ said that part of the orchard was so far from the barn, they built a little shed to hold extra supplies. It was small and uncomfortable. Everyone was pressed up against either a basket or a shovel, but AJ reassured us it was the it was only until morning, and when those things were gone, her family they were all hand shack. Rarity's carrying everything with magic. I could barely sleep. My wing felt broken, and I'm sure Applejack isn't in any better condition. Plus, I couldn't get Granny's face out of my head or Apple Bloom's cries. So I decided to be a lookout, staying awake and listening or watching for anything close by. I couldn't hear anything all night. Not hoofsteps, heavy breathing, or anything. While I'm sure we were all safe, I couldn't help the feeling that we were being watched. 
bike or pink outside? That's gotta be pink. That was really good. Uh oh. I left Discord on. That's gonna be annoying. I have to turn that off. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I forgot. I lost track where I was. Okay. Okay. I don't read these. Uh, I try not to read these. As uh, little as I can. Oh, uh, you know what? We get the copy right thing or whatever. We might as well go all out from that 28. You know? Okay, hold on. I must have fallen asleep at some point because I woke up to Rarity nudging my shoulder. It was morning and everyone was awake. Applejack said it was okay to leave. Turn down. Okay, that's good. Applejack said it was okay to leave. We each grabbed a basket and loaded them with apples. For the time being, they'd be our only food source. I had barely picked five apples when I heard Rarity shriek. Without much thinking, I ran to her. She was holding up a magical gem shield and pushing back what used to be Big Mac. He was thrashing and gargling and Rarity's magic was fading. What should I do? What could I do? Uh oh. Oh, Big Mac's a frowner. This is good. Before I could act, some pony lunged into the scene, wh whipping out a powerful flashlight and shining it in Big Mac's eyes. I suck it? Big Mac howled and. Uh oh. <laughs> and took a few dizzy steps away. The pony yelled, Get the Crusaders! Follow me. The three of us ran, AJ being the only one still carrying her apple basket. Rarity and I carry the Crusaders. In a blind panic, we followed this pony until we were out of breath. And sure, we weren't followed. We only stopped when AJ collapsed to the ground, the pony turning to help her. And that's when I got a good look at her. Oh my gosh, is Pinkie Pie a mute? Oh my goodness. Pinkie. I jumped on Pinkie for a hug, but she shoved me away. This confused me because I've never been denied a hug from Pinkie Pie, but she did look a lot different. As she helped AJ to her hooves, I got a good look at her. She had her hair down multiple scars on her body and her mouth was rainbow I'm not infected Pink said, and I'm bunkering at Flourishai's cottage let's go AJ ended up ditching the apple basket and Pinky carried her on her back Pinky Pie led us to Fluttershy's Fluttershy's? oh darling does this mean Rarity seemed overjoyed but Pinky sighed no She's gone too, but she's also not home, hasn't been for a while. Her cottage is far away enough from Ponyville that I've been bunkering there for a while now. Pinkie Pie, whipped with a flashlight and a knife. Status, infected. Immune, question mark? When we got to Fluttershy's, it was just as Pinkie said, empty. Not even a single animal, but there were lots of bloody chunks on the ground of what used to be Shy's critters. I wonder if Fluttershy did this. Pinky led us to Fluttershy's basement and grabbed a medical kit, bandaging up AJ's leg before doing the same to my wing. Holy graphic scene. can't be a bird right those oh they must be birds the angel hope not i'm not a doctor so i don't know if you'll heal right i'm sorry it's cool i replied my wing hurt but it felt better in the sling 
Now I heard answers from you. Now I need answers from you, Pinky. We can't keep secrets during this. What's happening to you? Are you infected? Pinky looked around the room and sighed. Can I speak to you alone? I wanted to argue to tell her that whatever she had to say, she could say it to every pony. But the way she spoke was suddenly soft. She sounded on the verge of tears. So I agreed. We made our way upstairs and quietly looked through all the windows to make sure we hadn't been followed. Pinky sighed and turned to me, tears welling up in her eyes. Oh, Rainbow, this is all my fault. Gosh, this is good. This is really nice. Uh-oh, trigger warning, character death, Rainbow Dash's journal. I was shocked. I think he just admitted that this that this virus was entirely her fault, but I thought it was my own. No, Pinky, it can't be. I was the one who fed everyone those cookies. I fed everyone the cookies. Tears were streaming down Pinky's face so I so I could tell this wasn't a time to argue. Even if I wanted to take all the blame, she continued to explain herself. I, I'm sure Applejack told you by now that this was all meant to be a terrible prank on you to, to, to one up you and it was all my idea when you came to me with the idea to prank the whole town with those rainbow joke cookies I came up with the idea to prank you into thinking we all became zombies from eating them but after you fed me that first cookie I felt odd it's hard to explain what the feeling was but more than anything i felt ill but i was too determined to get you back this was the perfect chance i forced everyone in ponyville to buy at least one or two boxes of cookies even convincing those who didn't want the cookies to participate i i ignored how sick those cookies made me in order to one up you and now, I've murdered everyone in Ponyville. So that's them discussing the cookies, the idea. And then, this is the consequence of Pinkie Pie getting sick from the cookies. Pinkie crumpled to the floor in tears, despite her apology. I still didn't believe she had anything to apologize for. I knelt down and wrapped her in my good wing. Oh, Pinkie. None of this is your fault. It's not like you made those cookies. There's no way you could have known. Pinky sniffled. Right. But I've been wondering, what did you put in those cookies that made ponies become this? I blinked at Pinky. I didn't make the cookies, don't you remember? I said I special ordered them from someone in Canterlot. I didn't want to order them from Sugar Cube Corner or else it'd, it'd ruin the prank. Pinky perked up at that confusion now on her face. But if you didn't make those cookies, who did? We were interrupted by a horrible sound outside. Help me, help me! <clears throat> Instinctively, Pinky and I made it back down into Fluttershy's basement. Our sudden entrance startled everyone inside. Scootaloo spoke. What? What happened? Pinky immediately shushed her, and we listened. Help me, help me, please, she sees me. Apple Bloom gasped. That's a pony. There's a pony out there. Apple Bloom st <clears throat> started running up the stairs before Applejack grabbed her by the tail. Apple Bloom, no. Apple Bloom yanked herself away from her sister. The There's a pony out there who needs help. Our family's gone. Applejack, just like you said, I have to help any pony I can before it's too late. Uh -oh. Before any of us could grab her, Apple Bloom was running up the stairs and outside. Apple Bloom, stop! Applejack desperately screamed as her sister ran away. Instantly, every pony was going after Apple Bloom as the cries for help outside continued. It sounded like a male pony, one I, recogni one I recognize for sure. Apple Bloom burst out of Fluttershy's cottage and turned the corner to where the cries were coming from and... 
That was not a pony. Help. 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 Oh no. A twisted neck of Frowner. No. Not Apple Bloom. Oh. <laughs> Why Apple Bloom? Apple Bloom, best crusader. Character Death and Blood. Rainbow Dash's journal. The scream that came out of A Applejack was the worst thing I've ever heard. There was nothing we could do but watch as Apple Bloom was devoured. Even Pinky was too paralyzed to do anything. Things couldn't get any worse. Then Sweetie Belle started charging the creature. Rarity's scream mimicked Applejack's. Sweetie Belle's horn lit up. I could tell she was trying to blind the creature as Pinky once did, but as soon as her horn lit up, it went out. Pinky was behind Sweetie in an instant, whipping out her own flashlight and successfully stunning the creature. The horrible thud of Sweetie Belle's lifeless body was such a sickening noise. She didn't say anything, but as soon as the creature was stunned, shoved back inside the cottage. Oh, that was Fluttershy. Oh my gosh. Sweetie Belle, no. Rarity's gonna be devastated. Oh my gosh. Why didn't you do anything? Applejack was screaming at Pinky. Pinky hushed Applejack by putting her hoof over her mouth, but AJ immediately shoved her away. Applejack jumped on Pinky and had her pinned. You could have saved her, both of them. Why didn't you pull out your stupid little flashlight then? Would you keep your voice down? She can hear us from down here. I don't give an apple tree's root about keeping quiet. Our sisters are dead. Scootaloo started sobbing. I was surprised when she buried her face in my chest as she was clearly angry with me before, but I wrapped my ring around her in comfort anyway. Rarity stepped in. A Applejack, Pinky is right. We, we need to wait until we're safe. What good are we to our sisters if we're also dead? Applejack hesitated before letting Pinky go. The next few hours were silent besides the horrible crunching outside. Once it was silent, we were sure we were alone. Rarity found her voice. So, what do we do now? Everyone looked at Pinky. She sighed and kept her head down. Ponyville is done for. At this rate, the infected will start leaving this town and invading the rest of Equestria. We obviously need help. From the princesses? I spoke up. But Canola is so far away. There's no way we can leave Ponyville without getting... I trailed off, thinking about Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle. Who else do we go to? Besides, you said you ordered those cookies from a bakery in Canola, right? If we make it there, maybe we can also find the culprit. Applejack made eye contact with me. The first she had in a long time. Wait. You didn't make those cookies? I shook my head. I could I could tell Scootaloo was also relieved by the news, though I still felt like this was all my fault. Oh, did I? Uh-oh, I paused it. Whoopsies. But how do we get to Canelot? The fastest way there is by flight, and my wing is busted. How about by train? Applejack suggested. Oh, I doubt the trains still run through here after all of this. She's right. We all looked at Pinky. Oh, I clicked again. The train is the best option. I tried escaping on the train days ago, but it had long been abandoned and the conductor eaten. If we can get that train running again, again. Wow, I said like that twice. We can make it to Canelot. Epilogue. Pinky's survival tips. Fluttershy, one of the first infected, returned to her cottage after days of being missing. She lured out her victims by mimicking the voice of a pony she had eaten. I have identified this voice to be Dr. Hooves. 
I suspect the whole who, who's Doctor Who. I get it. I suspect the Doctor was the reason she was missing, but let his guard down and got himself eaten. You hear a pony calling for help. Ignore it and get indoors as soon as you can. Summary. Crowning ponies mimic the screams of their victims. Help. Help. This is the dead pony. But their voice have been being assimilated and infected. Gosh. Oh my gosh, the last part. Okay. We waited for maybe two or three days. It was hard to keep track in the basement. AJ claimed her leg was feeling better, though my wings still felt busted. Most of our time was spent in silence or mourning. AJ and Rarity were still mourning over their sister's gruesome deaths. Rarity often quietly sobbing while AJ would be on edge, get angry at the smallest things. They had very different mourning processes. Eventually, Pinky wanted to try and initiate her plan of repairing the train and heading to Canterlot. She watched and listened outside for Fluttershy, or any other infected before we stepped out at, of the cottage. I noticed Sweetie's and Apple Bloom's bodies were gone. At first, I did it again. At first, we silently locked, walked for a few feet, going at slow pace. When Rarity suddenly hushed us, hear that? There was a laughter in the distance, but nothing like normal laughter, like you would hear at a party. It sounded sinister, broken, and dead. Pinky, without saying a word, shoved us forward into a sprint. The laughter started following us. Man, this one's smiling. This isn't a frowner. It's Twilight. Uh oh. Pinky scooped Scootaloo on her back since she couldn't run as fast as us. She must have gone to look at what was behind us because she shrieked horrifically. This caught the attention of other infected as we were starting to be chased by half a Ponyville. Don't stop until we get to the station, yelled Pinky. Our lungs were burning by the time the abandoned train came into view. Ha ha ha. All fun and games until we get chased by the laughing... Zombie Zombonies. The train was luckily in a better state than I expected. Blood splatters trailed inside the cars, however presumably from previous passengers, but otherwise, it seemed in perfect condition. We ran inside and ducked under the seats. AJ stopped to pull the door shut. The door slammed loudly, right as a smiling pony ran straight into it with a loud crack. Immediately. Pinky and AJ were at the engine to try and get the train running. All right, and train, train to Busan vibes here. Rarity held Scootaloo close as infected ponies started ramming themselves into the train. The car rocked with every violent shove, sounds of groaning and giggling emitting from outside. Suddenly, a mangled hoof shattered the thick glass of the train car, covered in blood and glass. But I still desperately trying to get in. I was panicking. Have you guys figured it out yet? Trying to. Just hang on. We almost got it. <clears throat> More glass shattered around us. Horrific and stretched faces of our friends peering inside. Scootaloo screamed and we tried to move away from them. Then we started moving. The train slowly chugging before taking off at a rapid speed. The infected pony struggling to hang on before falling out miles away from us. I sighed in relief. I'm still unsure on how they managed to start the train. AJ tried to explain it to me, but honestly, I zoned out after the word ignition. Oh my goodness. I don't know. These all seem like extras, background ponies. Maybe that's Twilight. I don't know who any of these other ones could be. Unfortunate. Finally, we got out of that town. I hope we never have to see the, those things again. Though, I feel guilty for leaving our friends behind. I hope we can still save them. Oh, all right. 
And that was the ending of the cookie virus for now. I honestly, that right there, perfect season one finale. That was awesome. The amount of story was beautiful. I, I don't think I have seen like that focused of a story in a TikTok horror AU yet. So I'm quite grateful for that. That was very different. I enjoyed that a lot. I'd love to see more of this. That was awesome. I, I love, uh, I got a lot of vibes from the, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the joy from the Amazing World of Gumball, but also the cookie thing. I think it's interesting. I wonder why they never had any of these cookies. Next season could definitely take place in Canterlot. I think that would be an interesting thing. But that's besides the point. This was awesome. Everyone, go check out Anxiety Monster for creating this. I'll be leaving their description down below. And I hope to see you folks again in the next one. Peace out.